I've met many, many of the stars on, you know, various work that I've done. Um, and from my experience, they've been, they've been really nice. Um, they've been outgoing, down to earth. Um, they don't necessarily have to stay in the, in the green room. Uh, they do actually mingle um, and share the stories and experiences. One of the major stars was Colin Firth. And it was really cold afternoon and we'd, we'd broke for something to drink. And we just stood outside and he just wandered across and said, well, if you lot want any photographs and autographs, please come and, uh, and we did it sort of for 10, 15 minutes. It was a really, really nice guy. I spotted Colin Firth with a group of young ladies and uh, while I was waiting for Paul, I asked us, um, when she came out, I said, do you want to um, have your picture taken with Colin? She said, Colin, who? I said, Colin Firth. He's over here. He was talking to a group of girls, but he asked them to just move to one side so we could have a really nice photograph together. Since then, I've put it on mouse mats and posters and it's been in um, local papers and it's a real talking point at work. I did think uh, if I do get the opportunity to talk to him, what would I say? Um, I was going to mention the fact that he played guitar in Mamma Mia and that I played guitar and then we were just going to become best friends and hang out every day. At one point, I was two rows behind Helen Bonham Carter and the first thing I immediately thought was just how small she was uh, but I did still find her quite attractive and I, don't, I would uh, like to take her out sometime. But We do get to meet and integrate with the stars to a point but what we realise is you know they've got their job to do, we've got ours to do. Uh, their job is usually the hardest, they've got a lot to remember so usually we will wait for them to approach us if they do at all. John Alderson spent all the time going around with a, a man with an umbrella over his head because he, he's got his head shaved and he was supposed to look like he had leukaemia. So I suppose he, and it was a very warm day, so I suppose he, he didn't need to get a suntan or anything like that. As an extra in uh, Emmerdale, I had uh, a one-to-one -one encounter with uh, Bob, Bob Hope, I think it is, that runs the post office and I was a milkman. And um, I delivered the uh, the milk that day, and normally you don't get a chance to speak on these sets. But um, he was talking to me, and I just felt a bit daft stood there. So I turned around and says, uh, "Shouldn't I just say hello back?" He said, yeah, go on. So I said hello, and of course, when you speak on um, any extra appearances, you get more money for it. And I didn't know this at the time, but I, I slipped in an extra line there and got a load more money for uh, just saying hello. I stood behind them I told my friend, can you get two, three pictures quickly because they are famous like major Bollywood stars. If they are not taking a picture with us because they are really busy. So we were being told off before, but there's always a way when there's a will. The stars were uh, us. We became stars overnight. Uh, the three winners, Norma Kitchen from Leeds and uh, also June Rose from Halifax and myself, which had the lead.